In this video, I'll walk you through the different types of metrics in Revenue Story and the different ways to view them. For each metric, you can dig deep and understand what contributed to that number, what the underlying data is by clicking on that number. For example, this is the total number of churns this year. And when you click on the number, you'll see the customers that churned and all the associated information. You can also download this data as CSV in case you want to perform analysis outside of Revenue Story. Metrics or reports in Revenue Story are available as KPIs, charts, tables, and cohorts. Some metrics such as the new paid subscription or the cancellation MRR rate, where it makes most sense to look at the number, these are available as KPIs. You can view KPIs for the current time period and compare it against the previous time period or you can see the number for the previous time period versus the one before. These are the different time period options that you could choose from. Some metrics, for example, the segmented ones and the ones for which the historical data or the trend is important, these are available as charts. For example, your MRR by different plans or your MRR by different customer type. For charts, these are the different time period options that you could choose from. And for each of these time periods, you can further choose the day, month, the quarters for which you want to see the trend. Some metrics such as the total MRR or your expansion MRR are available as both KPIs and charts. Other metrics like the churn breakdown report are available in table format. Apart from all this, there's also the MRR retention cohort and the subscription retention cohort. If you already have a metric on your dashboard and you want to choose a different time period, let's say you want to see historical data, you can do that by going to Add Metrics, selecting the metric and choosing a different time period.